there are many methods out there to create clouds inside Blender. So here is another quick and easy one. Add a mesh plane and add a geometry node modifier to it. We don't need this initial connection. Add points node and connect it to group output. Let's add 20 points. Right now, they all share the exact same location. Let's randomize them by dragging from the position socket and searching for random value node. This will randomize our points position. To make it randomize in all positive and negative directions, I set the mean values to negative 1. Drag this max input to group input node. This will extract that input. I rename the extracted input to spread. Drag from that socket and search for vector math scale node. This will basically multiply our vector with one value. Here I set that value to minus 1 and plug its output into mean socket. This way I can have good control over the spreading of points. We can also use this seed value to further randomize the points distribution. Now I add instance on points node here. You can use either mesh primitive UV sphere or icosphere for instance object. Here I use icosphere. Increase the subdivision to 2. These instances will create the basic shape of our cloud. If you want, you can randomize the scale of the instances using this scale input. Plug a random value node to it. Here I change it to float instead of vector because I don't want to stretch them on a certain axis. I set them into something like 0.5. Now I add a realize instances node to convert these instances into mesh because our next move is to displace each point. For that I add a geometry set position node. Then add a noise texture and plug it to offset. I add a map range node to map the noise texture to minus 1 to 1 range. Also add a vector map scale node to control the strength of the texture. You can play with noise texture scale to get different displacement. Let's smooth this out by adding a subdivision surface node. This will be our basic cloud shape. To turn this into an actual volume, use mesh to volume node. This voxel amount will control the resolution of the clouds. If your clouds are closer to the camera, you can increase this resolution and the noise texture scale to get more good looking clouds. You can see in EV it is working nicely. Make sure to enable volumetric shadows. To give this cloud a proper look, First, we need to create a material for it. For that, I add a set material node and create a new material over here. I called it cloud. Assign it here. Now for our cloud material, I start by deleting the default principal BSTF node. Then add a principal volume node and plug it to volume socket. I make it more white and 
play with its density and anisotropic values to get a good looking cloud. These values will probably change depending on your scene. Now I extract some other inputs to make this cloud setup easier to use. I can extract the seed value, the number of points, also our displacement noise scale and its strength. Subdivision levels and our cloud density and voxel amount along with its material. This way you can simply duplicate the cloud object and change these extracted values to get totally different cloud shapes. If you want to automate the shape of the clouds based on their location, then you can follow these steps. Add an object info node and plug self object node into its object input. Now drag from the location and search for vector map length node. This will give us a float value to work with based on the location. I will multiply this value by 10 to make our randomization more sensitive to its location. Then add a flow node to get rid of any decimal values because we need integer values to our seed number. After that you can plug this output to seed socket or you can drag from here and search for add node. Plug its output to seed and plug this to second input. This way you can still use the extracted seed value if you don't like the random shape this location gave us. And just like that our cloud shape is changing with its location. You can use a similar method to automate other values as well if you want to. So that's it. That's how we created a simple cloud object inside Blender's geometry nodes. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to take a look at how I created a fire simulation effect using not only Blender but also using Unreal Engine Niagara FX. If you are into Unreal Engine, tune in. We got more videos coming along with some great Blender tutorials. So. I hope you learned something cool, something new. I mean, that's what we like to do. We not only create stuff, we let you create with us. Hit that like button, comment your thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe to HelloFX Learn so you won't miss out when the next video drops. Until next time, 